semen collection and sperm observation. The bore is located at Barangay Magsaysay, Kidapawan City. Before the collection, a filter is placed on top of the collecting jar to avoid the inclusion of dirt and debris. Upon the stimulation of the board, this will mount to the dummy cell. The penis is grabbed swiftly and firmly by the collector. By then, we can collect the semen from the bore. The semen is brought to the city vet laboratory for observation. A drop of semen is placed on a glass slide and observed under the microscope. And here is the morphology of a boar sperm. To ensure the quality of the sperm, there should be an intact head and tail with no double head, damaged acrosome or double tail or coiled tail. The boar reproductive tract. The reproductive tract is obtained from Kabakan, North Cotabato. This specimen is intact with glands penis sigmoid flexure, retractor penis muscle, urethral muscle, and urinary bladder. The accessory glands were not prominent and the testes were transected. If you enjoy learning about the wonders of life, you're in the right place. Because in this junction, we will learn about the parts and function of Bohr's reproductive tract. I am Micaela Cassandra E. Hernandez, and I will be your presenter for this part. The reproductive tract of a boar consists of various organs involved in the production and delivery of sperm. Key components of a boar's reproductive tract include the testes, the seminal vesicle, prostate, the cowper's gland, the retractor penis muscle, sigmoid flexure, urethralis muscle, and the glans penis. These structures work together to produce, store, and deliver sperm during the process of mating. Several features of the boar's reproductive tract are noteworthy and can be considered unique in comparison to other mammals. Some distinctive characteristics include the presence of sigmoid flexure. The second is their large testicular size. Boars typically have relatively large testes compared to its own body size. Boars also don't have ampulla, and they have a distinctive large cowper's gland. For the seminal vesicle, it accounts for a major portion of the fluid in the ejaculate. It also secretes various substances, including fructose, which is an energy source for sperm and prostaglandins that play a role in the regulation of reproductive processes. It also has the prostate gland, which contributes additional fluids to semen, aiding in pH regulation, liquefaction, and facilitating the transport of sperm during ejaculation. The boar also has a unique copper's gland, which is also known as the bulbourethral gland. Its fluid is a viscid mucus-like lubricating substance released during sexual arousal. It prepares the urethra for the passage of sperm and reducing potential acidity in the reproductive tract. Bores also have a retractor penis muscle, which allows the sigmoid flexure to straighten. It also retracts the penis into the prepucial sheath when not in use and extends it during copulation or other activities requiring its external presence. Next is the unique sigmoid flexure which is a specialized anatomical structure found in the penis of some mammals, which includes the boar, or pig. It is a flexible, S-shaped bend in the penis that straightens during erection, allowing for more efficient mating and copulation. Lastly, it's glans penis, 
which facilitates the placement of the penis within the reproductive tract of the female. The specific corkscrew shape and features of the pig's lance penis are adapted to the reproductive needs of the species.